Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. This is Debbie, and check out the new potatoes that have just started sprouting. We planted these a couple of weeks after our other ones had came up, and I decided, hey, there's nothing planted in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that with more potatoes. Any place that there is a spot, you can grow food, and there just happens to be a little, I wouldn't even call it a circle. I'm not even sure what I would call it, a mushroom top, I guess that's a, shape, a mushroom top shape in my cement and it has some soil in there the soil is very very rich so i just went in and threw some potatoes in there and you can see they're pretty close to the other potatoes and these are the kennebecs and yukon golds and surprisingly enough they're getting ready to bloom shock of shocks they've only been planted since about may 8th and they are already getting ready to bloom bloom heads are on them everyone even on the Yukon Golds. They're getting ready to bloom at about the same time, surprisingly enough. Anyway, this is June 23rd, and everything is looking absolutely wonderful. The potato that was struggling a little bit with so much rainwater has perked up, you can see. It's a little behind the other ones, but it did go ahead and pull out of whatever it was doing with all of the rainwater and all of that. It has been dry-ish. The last two days, we had some rain last night, but it was during sleep, I don't count that. But it counted enough to get the garden really off and going because it has just seemed to grow overnight, especially with those blooms popping up on the potatoes. And you can see just how beautiful they are. There's still some potatoes that are coming up where the Yukon Golds are that were a little spotty because I didn't have very many of those potatoes. So there are some Kennebecs mixed in over there and they are coming up you just can't really see them very well right now because they are still pretty small but they will come on pretty quick and they're just all looking so fantastic and look at that corn i did plant some more beans between the final two rows of corn that didn't have anything around them so i did plant some more beans there i planted half runners um, around those and then rattlesnake pole beans as well so we basically have finished all of the bean seeds that we had um, except for some kentucky wonder pole beans that i have left i'm going to try to find a spot just to throw those in we're just going to get as much as we can out of this soil this year because we may be on a new homestead in the upcoming year so anyway just look at that corn it has grown by leaps and bounds it's about two feet tall at this time, some of it. There's always a few that are behind that, but for the most part, it's about two feet tall. Looking gorgeous, getting the more mature leaves on it now. And our squash that we planted between each of the corn rows are putting on their mature leaves now. So it has been warm enough today. It's been 79 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're supposed to be in the 70s and 80s for the rest of the week. So I think even our cucumbers will start showing some uh, growth on them. In fact, our loofah sponge has started showing some growth on it. Just everything looking wonderful at this point. And our eggplants have started putting on more leaves since I did a little bit of trimming on them. Just to trim off the really bad looking leaves that had got hit by a hailstorm. And as soon as those leaves, um, get a little bit more mature i'll trim those off and see if there's better leaves that'll come up on these and we've got some cucumbers planted in these two containers right here that have not came up yet i only have a few containers left that i don't have anything planted and i'll probably fill those with different types of basil because my grandson loves basil so much but you can just see all the wonderful growth going on with these our dahlia is really just filling out the container there's more dahlias down in there but they didn't come up so I'm, I'm don't know if the tubers are beyond helping or if they may come up next season we're not sure we'll just see but our tomatoes back there the cilantro that's over five feet tall now I had to trellis I know that's hilarious isn't it look how tall it is getting it is almost six feet tall look how tall that cilantro is and even though it's blooming, it is just continuing to get big. 
and our tomatoes in there are doing fantastic. They're starting to bloom now, in fact. These are the yellow pear tomatoes. Our tomatillos have been blooming for a while. This is a super sauce tomato that I had, and it is really starting to fill out the container. We've got a new bloom head on our Gerbera daisy right there. I'm not sure what color it's going to be. At this point, it kind of looks like it's going to be like a yellowish orange. We'll find out. All of our new containers with our peppers and ground cherries and um, some other things in them, those are all doing fantastic as well. So we're going to do a little bit of a garden tour to see what all's going on since it's been a few days. We trimmed the bottom leaves off of our tomatoes here and they've already healed over. I did that yesterday morning and we're saving the suckers on those to go ahead and make whole new plants. They're inside in a container while they root up and then we will put them in another container as soon as they are ready to go. You see the amazing amount of growth on these these little peppers were so small when I put them in there. You could hardly even see them and they're already putting on new leaves. And this is the last three Tahitian squash seeds that I had left. These three little squash right here. So I'm hoping that these will be able to mature and produce some Tahitian squash so I can get the seeds out of there because last season I was not able to get the seeds because they were not quite mature enough. Even though they were mature enough to eat them, they were not mature enough to have the seeds come to fruition. And then of course we have squash um, between each one of the corn rows and those are all looking amazing. We've got red curry and butternut and Tahitian squash and delicata, all kinds of varieties of squash in there. Our garden towers are just looking amazing. They have filled out just so much. And we did go ahead and plant some little strawberry plants that I had in some, um, we started from seed. These are mountain strawberries. And you can see they are right in there and starting to put their little crowns out with some more mature leaves on them now. So we have four of those all the way around. And our strawberries over here looking amazing. And our nasturtiums, by the way, that we planted over here. And yes, surprisingly, they are in shade. They have came up and they are flourishing just like they did last season. It took them a little while to come up, but once they came up, they were just like, nope, I want to grow. So that's our nasturtiums there. All of our tomatoes that we have, the black prints that we separated and got into containers, those are filling out the containers so, so fast. We've got our uh, cages now actually doing their job. And we do have them staked in some of them as well. Not in these particular ones, but in some of the other ones that we have cages on, we have stakes in there just for a little extra support. I ran out of stakes at this point. Unless we have some that fall from the trees, then I use those. It is use whatever you can. And sometimes I have people bring me stuff that no longer have uses for it and we'll put that to use. We did fill out our containers back here with some peppermint, thyme, lavender, another lemon mint, orange mint, and a couple of peppers back there as well that I'll be moving into the sun. And then we have a few more containers, like I said, that don't have anything in them. We'll get those filled up soon. And we put cantaloupes and melons in the big container. So we have a few varieties in there. We still have a lot of our celery left that we started from seeds. And I gave out some of them when I went to a master gardeners meeting and did some volunteer work, but we still have plenty of those left. We still have some more orange mint to give out, and we have some bee balm that I've separated to give out to people. So we try to give back to the community as much as we can. Everything looking wonderful over here. Our Gabera daisy over here, we're going to need to cut these back because it does have some new ones that are coming on to bloom. And these are getting a little bit old now, or just let them go to seed. I haven't decided yet. And here is our loofah. You can see that it is putting on new leaves and even has a little bit of a runner. You see that? A little string going right there. That's a runner. So we'll we look forward to actually seeing this guy actually uh, 
do what it's supposed to do, I hope. I'm not sure we'll have enough time for them to produce lupus, but it'd be nice to just see the plant get big. Everything looking so beautiful over here. Our strawberries, we've now uh, picked about three pints of strawberries from. So at any point I could actually make a strawberry rhubarb pie or something like that. I just haven't done it as yet. I probably will do it for our open house. I think we have an open house on Sunday. All of our tomatoes over here looking beautiful. As well as in our other kiddie pool, tomatillos. We also trimmed those. So we're trying to start some tomatillos from the cuttings that we have because there were a lot of people that lost their plants to hailstorms recently throughout Cheyenne. We're gonna see if we can get those rooted and going and that'll replace some of what they've lost with already established plants. Our cantaloupes are getting runners now and they're starting to take off. Look for blooms to happen just about any day. Same thing with our watermelons. They're actually starting to really get going now. We had one cantaloupe that I think that has some sort of a mosaic disease. So I'm not sure if we're gonna rip it out or see if it will uh, perk back up soon. We'll just work with it and see what we've got. Our artichokes are getting enormous. There's four of them in this container and I may have to end up separating them out. If so, I do have large containers. And our peppers are starting to bloom and put little peppers on them even though they're still getting bigger as the, as the minute passes, basically. And the eggplants over here are starting to put on a lot of new growth since the sun has decided to return. Everything out here in the herb garden looking fantastic. Our new beans have started coming up that we had to fill out because there was a lot of them that just died with all of the rain that we had. And so I planted some more and they all came up. Look at that beautiful chamomile. And our yellow chamomile is beginning to bloom. Look at that. And of course our salvia made a return. We have some more cucumbers planted in here but I haven't seen them come up as yet. So I may have to replace the seed because it was just too wet and too cool. But we do have a few up. So I hope that those will take off soon. But some of our things like lilies and irises and stuff like that, they really enjoyed all of that wet weather. Just some of the things didn't. We do have some little tomatoes on our sun sugar gold here. Even though it's really, really short. You can see those little tomatoes there. So hopefully that guy will continue to get a little bit bigger. But everything is just looking so fun. It's a big, I, you know, in the next probably few days to a week, it's probably going to turn into a jungle out here. And our onions are starting to get some really big heads on them now. You can see that onion head right there. I've just been getting my onion hoe in here and loosening the soil around them. And they've continued to get bigger. And we're getting runners now on our rattlesnake pole beans. You can see the runners sticking up here and there, as well as on the Kentucky Wonders and the half runners. And we're actually getting runners on our Royal Burgundy Bush beans, which is kind of funny because they're not supposed to have runners. So, but they're looking beautiful. They're definitely purple. So I know that they're royal burgundy. Look at those beautiful beans. Our other tomatoes out here in the garden, there's 22 in-ground tomatoes. They're a little bit slower than what's in the containers, but they are starting to pick up and grow like crazy. Even one of the smallest ones that we had in here that was only basically a couple inches tall it's now about four or five inches tall and taking off. And our little peppers out there are beginning to bloom. But I do hope that they get a lot bigger before they actually start blooming like crazy. 
And our new peas are coming up as well. We've got peas coming up everywhere. Our other peas have not started blooming yet, but they just keep getting taller and taller. These are the first 13 variety of peas. And then we have a second row planted on either side that will start catching up with the other guys pretty soon. And then we had some more squash that we had planted in here. Those are all up and we do have some okra that is coming up as well, but it didn't come up very well because it's just so cool. Um, so I may have to get in here and plant some more just to fill it out, but I did have a few of them come up. And then we have some yellow straight neck squash over here called saffron. And those are up and starting to put on their mature leaves now. And I believe these over here are yellow straight neck and they are starting to put on their mature leaves as well. And then we did plant some cucumbers right along the front. I haven't seen them come up as yet, but they've only been planted a few days. And we have spinach coming up over here um, in our rose garden. I planted spinach in here, a very long row of spinach that is starting to come up. And we do have some nasturtiums back there that are coming up. And then there are cucumbers in between each of the roses. And I do see a cucumber coming up, I believe. So that's gonna be fun. At least we're gonna have some cucumbers, hopefully. Even though I'm gonna be late in comparison with everyone else. We do have squash and things planted along the fence line over here. And those are all up, some putting on their mature leaves. Some were a little slower to come up because it was so cool. But I think all of them will take off. You can see that one right there. That's hopefully a strawberry crown squash. If so, then that means I have three of them that came up. Finally, it took them like three weeks to come up, but they finally came up. So it tells me they like it a little bit warmer. And we did plant a row of rattlesnake pole beans here in the back. And those are all beginning to come up as well. And hopefully they'll run up the fence. But I do have to keep these weeds at bay. We have a lot of creeping bells, I think they call them here in Cheyenne, as well as uh, random other weeds and Virginia creeper in here that we have to keep at bay. Our cabbages and Swiss chard and beets and all of that are doing amazing. And our rutabagas and carrots, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. And I had planted a couple of more rows of carrots in here. Those are beginning to come up now. It is pretty warm out here right now. So that's why you hear me a little breathless. It's actually a little humid as well because we had rain this morning. And you can see our cabbages are putting on mature leaves, starting to do their curl in the middle to get their heads ready. And I think unfortunately we're gonna lose one more cabbage there in the back. Again, probably I suspect either the crown got covered up with some soil or the ants have started attacking it, which is sad because I do see the ants out and maneuvering them around. We do have some more seeds planted in there with some more cabbages that'll come up soon and hopefully we'll just replace that one. And the broccoli, we are starting to get heads on our broccoli, guys. Look at that. Heads on the broccoli, and I'm not sure they're, if they're going to be very big. Um, and those will be the broccoli that I bought at Home Depot just to fill in for ones that I didn't have come up very well or survive very well. And unfortunately, it looks like they may have been stunted a little bit because they're already getting broccoli heads on them, and they've only been in ground for about two weeks. And that shouldn't be happening. So, um boo to you home depot our other cabbages are looking great these are all cabbages that i started from my own seed and we've got the mammoth red rock cabbage in there you can see that they are getting pretty huge so i do expect they're going to be really big cabbages and we did get some red acre cabbages as well and they're right over here and they're getting pretty big as well and we have more broccoli here, and this is my own seed, so hopefully they will do what they're supposed to do. This is the purple sprouting broccoli. And our celery is looking fantastic. As it typically does, this is the tango variety of celery. So I look forward to having some nice fresh celery again this season. And all of our lettuces are up. We need to get in here and thin these, at least some of them. 
the gourmet blend we don't thin and this one I believe was a red Roman so we'll need to get in here and thin this one and then we have butter crunch over here on the outer edge which we'll also need to get in here and thin and then we have a row of carrots in here those are all up and these are the Parisian ox heart carrots so they're going to be really big Russian variety of, car of carrots that are typically grown in Russia and France so we will hopefully have some big guys out of that and our sweet potatoes are starting to pick up and put out new leaves and kind of spread out a little bit even though they're still small so hopefully we'll get some of those going as well and we do have our squash coming up we have some yellow straight neck squash in here and we have a bunch of those that have came up but it looks like we have a couple of them that may not have so we'll get in here and fill those out um, I'll probably need to do that later this evening so we can make sure that those come up All of our containers over here in the front of the house are doing great. We have little oregano coming up and it's starting to get a little bit bigger now with some more mature leaves. Even though they're really tiny, they start picking up pretty quick. And all of our thymes, this one is blooming. And we have marjoram in this container and that's starting to get a little bit bigger. And we had a bunch of forget-me-nots come up in this container with my lemon tree because we had some last season and they're starting to get really big now. Everything is just looking so, so beautiful. Our flower containers are filling out nicely. And I'm just loving the strawberry blonde marigolds. Look at those right in the center just beautiful and then we did go in here and plant turnips where the um, blue scotch kale did not come up so I just went ahead and put in a couple of rows of turnips in here and we'll see if those get going but our radishes and things they're looking amazing starting to head up and when our bok choy gets a little bit bigger I'll come in here and thin that as well because we have bok choy in here and there's our other three rows of peas. These are Cascadia peas and Super Snappies. And since they're so similar, we just went ahead and put them together. So I look forward to those. They're starting to put little runners up now, but they don't get very tall. They only get about three feet tall at the most. And they make their own trellis with each other. So everything is looking great through here so anyway that's what's going on with my garden this season this is june 23rd so i hope you enjoyed the garden tour like subscribe hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out and we look forward to seeing you in the next one